Hey guys, it's Mark and Laurie Gable with Gables on the Go. Hey y'all. And look at this scene behind us right here. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? That directly behind us is due south on the Atlantic Ocean in the Florida Keys. Love it. And we're going to show you a beautiful home today that is oceanfront, probably as good a boating access as you're going to find to the Gulf and the Atlantic, mm -hmm. almost anywhere down here in the Florida Keys. So uh, come along with us on this video. We're going to share our thoughts and our experiences of actually living waterfront in the Florida Keys. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about living on open water. Here come some friends now. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the fun things about living waterfront. You get to see all your neighbors come by on boat. <laughs> come along with us guys. We're gonna show you a beautiful house here in the Florida Keys and talk a little bit about living oceanfront in the Florida Keys. So I tell you what, if this is not just a beautiful scene out here, this is right out the back door of the house. Got your boat lift right there. They've got their 30 foot world cat catamaran sitting there ready to go. And right out the back door is this beautiful turquoise waters of the Florida Keys. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I you just too. breathe in the fresh salt air. I know it. I know <laughs> it. And right across there, guys, what you're seeing right over there, that's Key Colony Beach. So if you saw in our other video where we did some uh, walk through on home in Key Colony Beach, that's right over there. And right out here is basically due south. If you were to take your boat and go straight that way, I'm going to say in about 65 miles right there, you would hit Quesal Bank in the Bahamas. If you wanted to go that far. If you wanted to go that <laughs> far. Nothing between here and there. Yeah, really. Yeah. And what you see all out here in the middle where it's kind of lighter colored, that's all sh very shallow. Very yeah. shallow sand The channel and runs seagrass. right down along this edge here. And if you get over in there, you can see the water's very shallow and you go right here and turn out. So you go right around this way, turn out, that goes out to the Atlantic and you can make a left right here, literally off their property. You can actually see it right here. This is Vaca Cut going through Marathon. So if you get on Google Maps and you look through the only, the only cut going through Marathon is literally right here on the other side of this house right there. So that goes to the Gulf of Mexico and that goes out to the Atlantic Ocean right there. So you talk about amazing, amazing water access from here. Isn't it? It doesn't get much better than no. this. No. And I love this little inset where you can get your yeah. paddle board down here. Or Got your step down. Get in the water in a small boat if you needed to. Yep, there's a huge school of bait fish right there in the water. Oh, you yeah. could throw a net and catch a thousand bait fish right there you in that could. water right now. <laughs> yeah, look at the snapper behind it following them. Catch gray snapper uh -huh. right off your seawall right there. Oh, I bet you would catch Lobsters them. down there, all kind mm -hmm. of stuff. This home, guys, uh, sits in a little community called Little Venice, and you guys may have seen one of our older videos where Laurie and I did a uh, bike ride tour through Little Venice, and you can see the whole neighborhood. We're going to show you some scenes of that, but it's a very popular uh, neighborhood here in the Florida Keys, right in Marathon, and it's primarily because of all of its um, water access in here. I mean, you are just literally, your engines don't get warmed up good before you're out on the Atlantic ready to roll, which is so nice. When we first moved here, we lived oceanfront. We rented a house when we came to Marathon and we rented a house that had this same view. It looked out over this same water. Matter of fact, it's just a stone's throw right down the, mm -hmm. from us here, about four or five canals down is where Laurie and I were, if you look back at our old videos. And every day we had this, this view out here of the Atlantic Ocean. And it was so cool because every day would, the color of the water would be different. Like some yeah. days it's really blue, some days it's really green, some days it's kind of brown, and yeah. there's just all kinds of interesting sights to see from looking and we'd out see porpoises giant schools of fish mm -hmm. we would see tarpon coming by um, all the birds uh, when we had thunderstorms coming in off the water you could sit here and watch those roll in across the water water spouts the works it was super cool it was just really 
a neat thing. And the reason I say we didn't realize it at the time, of course it was beautiful when we first got, but then when you live there every day and you see that every day, I have to admit, you kind of just get used to seeing it and mm -hmm. um, <laughs> maybe you don't appreciate it as much as you, as you uh, should. <laughs> and then when Laurie and I bought our other home down in uh, Ramrod and we were canal front, so we no longer had those water views, um, I really didn't realize how much I would miss the open water views down here. Mm -hmm. I would even go so far as to say we could do open water views without boat access. Yeah, I, I never yeah. dreamed that I would say that. But we could. Just... I never dreamed that I would come to the Florida Keys mm -hmm. and, and be able to say that. But sh Laurie's exactly right. I think we could have a house like this, these beautiful views, you know, every day and just keep the boat either on a trailer or, well, in the case of this house, this is why we wanted to show you this video, right. show you this house is because um, it's kind of rare, especially at this price point, to find a house down here in the Florida Keys that has endless open water views and it has boating access right behind it. Now, yeah, you're gonna find them for 10 million, 15 million dollars that has it all. But at the price point that this house is at, it's kind of rare to find one where you can park your boat right there. You've mm -hmm. got a channel, a dredge channel right behind your property and open water views all in the same place for, you know, not $10 million. Exactly. <laughs> and, um, you know, you can look up and down the keys and it's, it's really kind of tough to find that. You either tend to get one or the other. Mm -hmm. If you because, want open water views, yeah. the water's too shallow for, for the boats. Right, it does, it gets real shallow. And if they have channels dredged around the, you know, island, then you can have the boating access. But if they don't, you're kind of out of luck. Yeah, and don't take me wrong, guys. There are lots of houses down here that, that we can find for you that will have both. But obviously, with those type things, the price points go up. And no, I'm not saying they're all $10 million by any no. stretch. But <laughs> I'm looking right across the water right now at some $10 million houses <laughs> sitting right there. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not impossible to find, but it is, uh, it's rare and it's rare, you know, in the probably sub- $2 million price range is almost impossible to find. Mm -hmm. So enough of that. Why don't we go inside, take a look at this beautiful home. This home is uh, currently our listing. Mm -hmm. uh, Laurie and I are with Coco Plum Real Estate here in Marathon. You can get all the information about this house in the video description below the video. If you're watching on a television and you can't see the description, just go to your phone, your smartphone or a computer go to gablesonthego.com or go directly to our YouTube channel and find it on your computer or phone and you will be able to see the descriptions. We'll have a full description of the house, a link to the listing mm -hmm. and all the information you need and how to get in touch with us if you would like to look more at this house or find out uh, any more information about it. So mm -hmm. why don't we go inside all and right. uh, let's, let's go take, let's a tour. take a look at this beautiful home. All right, well, let's Let's go in the back door. All right, right let's off go to the, the water. back door. Back door friends are the best, right? <laughs> <laughs> they have lots of lots of living room space, lots of dining room space, all opened up to enjoy with your friends and family. It is pretty. And you get your ocean big time views. views out here. Let me scan around here. If I turn yeah. around this way, I think it'll go dark in the camera. Yep, kind of. But you can see the views right from the living room, guys. It's just. Yeah, you don't Stunning even have to views. go outside. You can see all the way out through here. If you said, oh, you know, I'm just a little hot today. I want to sit inside. You could still look at your open ocean views. Absolutely. Amazing. So then in here, she's got an eight person, I think two, four, six, eight person. You could even get a 10 person table, probably. Um, but yeah, plenty of space for a living room, a dining room, living room, lots yeah. of guests. And a nice kitchen where you have good coral workspace. Coral chandelier, vacuum. that's cool. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I was just commenting, commenting on the pretty chandelier like there. The I like that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, for those of you who like a kitchen where you have the, you know, workspace and everything's very convenient to reach from and to and get things out, and this is it. Lots yeah. of cabinet space. I really like that. Yeah, and they've got all high-end... Um, Appliances. Uh, appliances in here. Those are oh, all yeah. uh, the cafe edition. Cafe edition. Mm-hmm. 
everyone, all nice. those appliances, they're very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Double oven. Yep. Very pretty. Let's walk back through this side. And it has the mini pantry right here. That's right. <laughs> they had to have the pantry yeah. put in there. She said, I have to have it. <laughs> Here's another view from this way, guys. I know it's going to get, color is going to get a little weird with the sun shining in, but you can see really pretty place. I love this wall inset over here with the lighting underneath it. Yeah, that is super awesome. That is so cool. The artwork in there. Yeah, I like that. All right, you want to start on that side and go through there? Yeah, we'll go over here. All right. We have the guest bathroom, which has a full tub yes. shower combo. Very nice. Yes. Decorated very nice. Everything's very beachy, yep. beautiful. And I like this bedroom especially because it has, well, has a view of the water. Obviously, if your boat's in the water and the mm -hmm. boat lift is down, you'll be able to see a lot more of it. But um, has a nice workspace in here for two people in case you work oh, at does. home. Yeah, this is. You've got a nice little office very space. Nice. And I mean, this is a king size bed. Yeah, you got the plenty of room nice for your nightstands over there. The rooms are large. Mm -hmm. The closets are standard closets. Yep. Very nice. And again, the view can't beat that. <laughs> what if that was your view while you were working from home on your computer in here and you look out the window and go, hmm, I think mm -hmm. I'll go outside for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so this would be a guest bedroom. Yeah. And guys, this house is three bedrooms, three baths, over 1,800 square feet. Mm -hmm. Built in Built 57. In, yeah, 1957. Concrete house. Been here through the storms, has weathered the storms. <laughs> <laughs> it's a proven. Yep standard foundation there. Florida Key storm approved. Let's see. Let's go to this front bedroom. Alrighty. So again, another favorite bedroom with a view here. And yep. I mean, you could put a bigger bed in here, even if you wanted to. You still yep. got some space. Plenty of room in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This would hold a king, king size. No problem. So this is when you need to work and your spouse needs to work in the other bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. And again, you know, just sit here and watch boats go by all day. I just love it. Mm -hmm. Me too. All right, let's go down. Then the we master's got, down that way, but first we have, we have other the bathroom, bathroom here. for this guest bedroom. Or I hope this bedroom. air handler's running here, so I hope it's not too loud on oh, my mic. Yeah. <clears throat> we will see. Standard tub. Yep. Well, shower, not tub actually, but a place to sit down and shave your legs, ladies. Yeah. Because yeah. you need to do that. Unless you don't, then more power to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm all for it. So we're walking in towards the master bedroom. It's a little hallway through here. And the laundry room is right off of this hallway, which is It is a good size nice. laundry room for... Uh, yeah. Especially for these older houses like this, they normally don't have right. a they laundry usually. space like this. It's really handy. Be outside or something, the washer yeah. and dryer. Yeah. But it's got an outside door, so you can come in if you're all nasty, wet, fishy, bloody. Throw your clothes in here. Yep. Be done with it. Got Extra storage, storage over there. Mm -hmm. Lots of good storage. Yep. And the master bedroom. Big master this bedroom. Very big. So that's and a king beautiful. size bed there, and you can see all the space you have. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. And they have the full closets here and an extra closet over there. Yeah. Very so nice. I'll wheel around to this space. side and get this angle over here. Very pretty. And it's got an ensuite bathroom. Mm -hmm. So this is your master bath. Everything's updated. Very nice. And tub shower combo. Yep. Ta-da! Nice. 
So everybody has their own bathroom. And I'll tell you this, from renting a place with bringing several couples with us, mm -hmm. everybody having their own bathroom is a blessing. Oh yeah, without <laughs> a doubt, without a doubt. Because some Yeah, people this are... would just make a tremendous rental property. Wouldn't it? Oh yeah, oh, three yeah. bedrooms, three baths, mm -hmm. right on the water, boats. There's even room on that dock out back for a, another boat, plus having the other boat on the lift. So if you were the owner, you could keep your boat on the lift and your guests could have their boat all on that mm -hmm. seawall back That's there. That's true. Yeah, that which is really mm -hmm. another huge bonus to this house. So guys, one thing in this community of Little Venice that is a little unusual, if you come into Marathon and you come into Little Venice, you're gonna see that these houses are packed in here pretty tight. Um, the setbacks on the lots are different from other areas of um, Marathon, and typically you don't have parking. You'll have on-street parking or something like this across the street here, but you can look down through here and see some of these houses down on this end have some parking, but you can look up through there and see there's just not a whole lot of parking out here. But look, this house has two Lots undercover parking areas plus a garage over here and then room for cars out here. You could get easily four vehicles here, which, mm -hmm. you know, if you're from this area or if you've been down here before, you know what a big deal that is. Um, if you had guests in here that needed to put a boat trailer back up underneath there and then still have parking out here, um, you could do it here. And that is very rare in this little Venice community. What about, um, could you put a trailer back in here? I think you could. I think mm -hmm. you could back it down and then Pulled put up. it yep. put it right up in there and get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. so, or just um, extra car parking, Yeah. whichever. That so is, really, you got a trailer, two spots, three spots, and you could probably put one behind each car here. Yeah. So you have a lot of parking at this place. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's very rare in this uh, community of these older little homes in here. And then you got... Right across the street there, you can see the, another canal cut in that side, but everything on this side, out here on the front, everything you see out there is all oceanfront. Just a primo location. Mm -hmm. It is great. Yeah. And what about the garage? You said we could, you could park a car in there? Sure. Yeah. It's a single car garage. Single car garage. They use it as storage, but yeah. you know, you, you certainly could. You could. A smaller car. I don't think my pickup truck no, can fit in no. there. <laughs> Trucks, expeditions would be a little big for that. Yeah, probably so. But it is nice to have that big storage area. You put all your fishing gear and things like that in it. Absolutely. And tools. Yep. Again, one of the nice things about living out here oceanfront like this in this location, guys. So here come one of our charter boats in right here. That's a dive boat. I believe that's Captain Hooks. And it's literally right around the corner from this house. You could walk from here and catch that boat literally just a couple of blocks and you could catch that boat to go out to the uh, snorkel trips, out on the reef trips, scuba diving, all that kind of stuff. Makes it just fun with this location here being, you can walk a couple blocks up the street from here guys and go to um, seafood restaurants, mm -hmm. a pizza uh, joint fish markets, a pizza joint, an Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. literally just right at the front of the neighborhood right here. So wonder, wonderful place to vacation and wonderful place to buy yourself a vacation rental. <laughs> <laughs> and you can take your bikes and ride up to town and have dinner or whatever, have a few cocktails and ride back. Just don't yeah. have too many so you yeah. make it back safely. <laughs> yeah, don't get, don't get too keysy don't down Don't get here. too crazy. And by the way, guys, look at this. They did all the artificial turf in the yard Oh, I love this artificial turf. I know, I do too. I'm going to walk around here and show this side, but they, um, they've got some dogs and the dogs like to come out here and roll around in the artificial turf and you don't have the gravel like you typically see uh, down here in the Keys so much. Yeah. And the grass is so hard to upkeep down here because it's so dry a lot of the times and so hot. Um, but they've done all artificial turf all the way around this house. I just love it. I mean, it'd be so easy to clean up, too. Yeah, it just know, keeps everything nice, out. neat, clean. Run a vacuum cleaner over it. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. <laughs> you just get your blower and boop, you're done. Yeah, just blow it off. <laughs> and that's a 17,000-pound uh, boat lift right there, guys. That is a uh, Worldcat 295cc. 
catamaran that's sitting on it now. So, uh, and he just had that installed uh, not long ago. It's not very old. All right, guys, well, we hope you've enjoyed the tour of this beautiful home oceanfront here in Little Venice in the Florida Keys in Marathon, Florida. And I guess you're, you're wanting to know the big answer to the big question. Yes, everybody wants to know that. How much does this house cost? <laughs> <laughs> guys, at the time of the shooting of this video, so be sure to check the date of the video to make sure the information you're getting is correct. September 2023. That's right. Mm -hmm. At the time of this video, this house is listed for $2.499 million. Bargain basement price, right? Oh, I mean. <laughs> Well, check out the prices of anything else on the oceanfront like uh, this. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, you check out oceanfront with a few, with boatable water behind it. Mm -hmm. You're going to knock your socks off of some of these <laughs> houses cost down here. So, guys, if you'd like more information about this house, give me and Laurie a call. We'll put our number on the screen for you so you can give us a shout. We're with Coco Plum Real Estate here in Marathon. We'll be glad to help you with this home or any other home down here in the Florida Keys for sale. And uh, until our next video, which we hope is pretty soon for we you. We hope so. We're trying to get it back together, guys. Now get that I'm, I'm getting over my cold, I've been sick for a couple of weeks. Yeah, Laurie's <laughs> been sick, and I'm hoping I'm not catching it now. But anyway, guys, we appreciate you watching our channel, and we'll see you next time when Gables on the go. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye.